Welcome back, Chemistry 30. Hopefully you had a chance to work at this question here in this uh, second video. So, kind of going through the rationale that I used. Uh, and once again, we can pick anything up here. Just usually don't pick oxygen because equa both equations use oxygen, etc. So, Al, aluminum. There it is right there in the first equation. We need four atoms of it. We have four atoms. It needs to be on the left-hand side, and it is. So, we'll just leave that one alone. Okay, uh, MnO2, uh, there it is there. I need three of them, I only have one of them. So I'm going to have to multiply it by three, which means multiplying everything by three. And also this one is on the wrong side. It needs to be on the left-hand side of the arrow as a reacted. But it's on the right-hand side of the reaction as a product. So I'm going to have to do two things here. Reverse and multiply by three, or multiply by three and reverse. It doesn't matter the order as long as you do both of those operations. So the first equation, just leave it as leave it alone, as we mentioned. And this one, multiply by three in reverse. So I'm going to have three MNs, three O2s, three MNO2s, and this tripled as well, and then reverse it. So three MNO2, three MN, three O2 on the product side, and then negative 521 multiplied by three is going to give me negative 1563. But of course, I reversed it as well. So I have to change that to a positive sign. 302s cancel on each side, and I think that's all we can do. And we're left with 4Al plus 3MnO2 yields 2Al203 plus 3Mn. And that's what I'm supposed to have. And then as Hess's law suggests, if I can do that, then just simply adding up the enthalpies of the reaction that resulted gives me the enthalpy of the overall question. So negative 3352 plus 1563 gives me negative 1789. So this reaction is endo exothermic and there's the number. Okay, <clears throat> going through the next one. Back to B. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I have this one, Sn. It's on the left hand side, so I'll just leave it alone. I, I need one, I have one. SNCl4, it's on the right. I need one, I have one. So both these equations we actually leave. And the only thing we can cancel out is SNCl2, which is produced here, and SNCl2, which is used up here. Notice that we have two Cl2s, but they're on the same side. And we have when we have like items on the same side, we just combine them. So SN plus two of those Cl2s yields SNCl4 and then adding those up we get negative 511 okay the next few I would like you to do so at this point you should likely pause the vid video and see if you can do C, D, and E <clears throat> then once you have it done um, come back to the video and see if you were able to figure out the right manipulation and also get the right answer. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video now, then come back. Okay, if you had a chance to do those, here's what we need to do. So I looked at these two compounds, C2H5OH, C2H5OH, it's right there. I need two of them. I have one of them, so I'm going to have to double that. It needs to be on the left. It is on the left, so just simply multiplying by 2. C2H4O is on the right-hand side, and I need two of them. I have two of them in this equation, but it's on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to reverse it. So those are the two manipulations I do there. So reversing this first equation, these products become reactants. These reactants become products. And the negative 2385 becomes positive 2385. The second equation, double everything. So now I have two C2H5OHs. Three times two is six O2s. Two times two is four CO2s. Two times three is six H2Os. And two times negative 1367 is negative 2734. And in terms of cancelling things here, we have 4CO2 on the left, 4CO2 on the right, those cancel out. 4H2Os will cancel with 
four H two O's on the right, and of course I have extra ones on the right hand side. I'll be left with two, so they, it all doesn't get cancelled out. And then five O twos on the right will cancel with five O twos on the left, leaving you with one extra O two on the left because I had six here originally, which is fine. And in fact, if you look at the original equation, I should have those left over. So you always know if you're on the right track if you get the same equation that you had in the original question. And then over here, negative 349 kilojoules should be your answer there. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, let's move this box down here, okay. So with this one, you had <coughs> these two equations to represent Cl2 plus 2HBr yields 2HCl plus Br2. Looking for Cl2, I need one of them on the left. I have one of them on the left in this equation, so leave it. Uh, HBr, I need two HBrs. I have two, but they have to be on the left-hand side. And here, I can see it's on the right. So I'm going to have to reverse that equation. And when I do, I get this. So leaving the first equation as is, reversing the second equation, the negative 73 is going to turn to positive 73. And looking at similar compounds on the reactant and product side, H2 and H2 cancel. And that leaves you with this, the overall reaction, and negative 112 as a result. Okay, one more you had to do. This one had three equations to manipulate. So it seems like it's more difficult, but really it's, it's not that bad. So looking for CO, here it is right here. It needs to be on the left. It's on the left. I only need one molecule though, and I have two. So you can think of this now as, okay, I need half as much. So either multiply by half or divided by two both of those will be the same, the same result. So I put, I need to divide this question by two to end up with only one CO's as opposed to two. So that may have tricked you there. Two H2's, two H2's. Needs to be on the left, it is, so that equation I just leave. And lastly here, CH3OH, and I have two CH3OH on the left hand side, it needs to be on the right, and I have twice as much here. I need half as much. So again, I'm going to divide it by two and also reverse because this has to be in the right hand side. So those are the operations that we need to do for this one. So the first one, dividing it by two. Two divided by two is one. Now in front of this oxygen, it's implied that there's just a one there. We don't write a one because you can see there's one oxygen. So one divided by two is a half or I just put 0.5. Two divided by two is one and negative 566 divided by 2, negative 283. The second equation we just rewrite because we're just to leave it alone. And then the last one, uh, reverse and divide by 2. So the CO2 and the 4H2 will be on the left hand side this time and divide each of those by 2. So I'll have 1 and 2. So 1 CO2 and 2 H2Os. Then over here, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and then 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves, or 1 and a half. And then over here, don't forget this, divide by 2 plus reverse. So dividing that by 2 will give me negative 726, then reversing it, positive 726. Okay, so we, had, we got decimals here, mathematically we can have that. Uh, so over on the left hand side, if I look at CO2s, 1 CO2 and 1 CO2 cancel, 2 H2Os and 2 H2Os cancel, 1 and a half O2s, and if I look on the left hand side, I have a full O2 and a half O2, so in total that makes 1 and a half, which will cancel out with that. So that leaves us with what we're supposed to have left over. CO plus 2H2 yields CH3OH and then manipulating those numbers negative 129 kilojoules. Okay, we'll stop there and hopefully you can join us for part three.